Good morning. Good morning to everybody. Welcome to 8 a.m. on Wednesday. Glad that you're with us for a morning Devo. Um, we appreciate so many of you jumping on with us every morning and just take a few minutes to encourage your day and to walk with you in this journey. And so thanks for all of you who are about to jump on. Thanks to all of you who are going to share this. And um, as always, we wanna remind you that this is a supplement to what you should already be doing. If you're a follower of Jesus, you need more than just a, a couple of people reading a scripture to you. You need to take time and hide God's word in your heart to spend some time in prayer today, some personal worship, um, to give God your best, because as we give God our best, um, God speaks to us, he leads us, and our relationship with God uh, grows. So we seek God for God. Today we're talking about walking with God, and uh, this will be the last of, I don't know, six or seven of these where we've been talking about um, what it means to really walk with God. Yesterday we talked about walking with God, knowing that you are loved. Mm -hmm. um, we read the scripture, which I'm gonna read again from Matthew chapter three, verse 17. Um, today, we're gonna talk a little bit more about feeling his pleasure. Uh, walking with God means that we feel his pleasure. Uh, Matthew chapter three, verse 17, and a voice from heaven said, this is my son whom I love, that was yesterday. With him, I am well pleased. I know we kind of drilled down into this um, a few uh, yesterday, but I, I, I want to kind of explain today's uh, idea with a story. I'll never forget um, in January of 2010, um, I came to the Bronx as um, a pastor that was uh, starting to, to lead uh, a church here, Crossway Christian Center. And one of the first things I did was meet with a couple of pastors that were, were senior leaders in the, in the city. Um, one of them was Pastor David Hernquist of Van Nest Assembly of God. And I'll never forget um, meeting with him. I think it was a Friday night. It was January, it was cold. I remember coming down the steps after the meeting in his office and I stepped down onto the street at the corner of like Rylander and whatever that cross street is in Van Nest. And I just sensed the pleasure of God. Like I just sensed that God was pleased with um, that moment of obedience uh, in me. I just sensed that this is what I was born for, being in New York City, um, helping people in the greatest city in the world. And it was just this, this, it was really awe-inspiring. I'll just never forget that moment. I just, I felt like I was home. I felt like it all was coming together. I felt like I was born for that moment. I just sensed the pleasure of the Father. And I wonder if that's how Jesus felt when he came out of the water, right? And um, everything that Jesus did was to fulfill righteousness. In fact, he told John, I need to, to be baptized to fulfill all righteousness. And when he came out of that water, the Spirit came down, the voice from the Father, with whom I'm well pleased, uh, it spoke. I, I, I just imagine Jesus mm. um, probably just sensed God's um, anointing on his life. Mm. And, and it says that, that he went into the wilderness right after that, by, led by the Holy Spirit to be tempted by the enemy. In other words, Jesus was right in lockstep, walking with God, feeling his love, with his held, head held high, right? He was, all those things we've been talking about over the last few weeks, and the pleasure of the Father was there. And so I wanna encourage you today to feel God's pleasure. One of the ways that you can do that is just stop um, in your day and just pause and look around and thank God for the day that he's given you. Thank God for the you that he's made you to be. Thank mm -hmm. God for the calling that he's put on your life. Mm -hmm. Thank God for the yeah. goodness that never stops surrounding us. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. Come on, that is just such good news today. So let's feel his pleasure today. Mm -hmm. Let's walk in his goodness today. Let's walk in his love today. Let's walk with our heads held high. Susan's gonna read this devotion, then share a few thoughts as well. The voice from heaven says, with him I am well pleased. Again, it was supremely true of Jesus, but as you walk and step with the spirit, you too can experience the sense of God's delight and pleasure. I love the moment in the film, Chariots of Fire, when the Olympic runner Eric Liddell says, when I run, I feel his pleasure. 
Mm. Lord, thank you that you give me your Holy Spirit to refine me, to give me peace, to assure me that I am a child of God, yes. to know your love and to feel your pleasure. Help me to walk in, spirit, in step with the Spirit. When Nick was talking about that time, that was around the time we weren't committed yet to Throgs Neck Community Church, but we were coming in as interim, I believe that was around the same time. Yeah, it was. And I couldn't help but think right now that if it wasn't for the obedience in Nick's heart, would he have felt the same pleasure That's true. of God? You know, so many times we do, we sac you know, the word of God says obedience is greater than sacrifice. Because we can sacrifice a lot, but if we're not obedient, if our hearts aren't in tune with the Holy Spirit, if our hearts aren't, um, do, are doing it begrudgingly, yeah. and like, <sighs> I just don't think we'll sense that same pleasure because we won't be happy. You understand what I'm saying? Is yeah, that there was, a, there was a sense of peace and pleasure from the Holy Spirit because we were in tune, like what this word is saying. We were in tune with him. We were walking in step with him. Yeah. Yep. But when we're disobedient and we do things out of, um, you know, it says do everything without arguing, right? It also says um, give with a joyful heart. You know, the things of God are not meant to be this, you know, pain, you know, painstaking, like pulling our teeth, dragging us. Like, no, no, no. Because I don't think we'd still um, feel that pleasure. And I think when we feel that pleasure, it's because our hearts, our obedience are in line with what God has for us. You know, have you ever been in a place? I know I've been in a place where I thought I was doing the right thing for God, but I was doing the right thing for me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get that sense that God was pleased with me. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's good. And I'll, I'll give you an example. There was a, uh, you know, there was a situation with our, our, our daughter. And I was kind of just trying to play it safe. You know, try not to, you know, stir the waters. But there was just such a sense of turmoil and like this battle inside my heart. And it was because I wasn't leading her. I wasn't allowing the Holy Spirit to lead me. I was kind of just wanting to make her happy, make me happy and keep the peace, but it wasn't supposed to be that way. And when we finally made the decision to, you know what? We gotta, we gotta do things God's way. That's when we start to feel the peace. And God has been so faithful that even in that time of disobedience, he he does something so awesome. He loves us through it. And so um, those are times where you begin to understand that the pleasure of God, you know, smiling down. Jesus went from, you know, no one, right? He was this obscure person. And then at the age of 30 or 33, he decides. 30, yeah. I'm going to um, go do my father's will. And that was the beginning of it. Jesus, God knew this is my son with him. I'm well pleased. And what happened? He went into the wilderness for 40 days. And so many times when we make the choice to follow God and feel his pleasure, it doesn't mean that everything's going to go smoothly. Yeah. It doesn't mean that we're not going to have trouble. It doesn't mean that we're not going to feel pain and we're not going to suffer. It just means that God is with us, that he promises to be with us, that he walks in step with us. And sometimes he walks ahead of us to prepare the way and, and make it and make us ready. We just have to ready our hearts and ready our our spirits to receive what God has for us. Yeah. And it's his pleasure because of Jesus. We mm -hmm. talked about this yesterday, that the Father is pleased with us, not because so much of us, but because it's Jesus yes. who covers us. When mm -hmm. he when the Father looks at us, he sees Jesus. Mm -hmm. When the father looked at Jesus, he saw his son, his perfect son doing his will. So he was pleased. Yeah. Um, when the father looks at us without Jesus, he's not pleased. <laughs> We're enemies of God. But with Jesus living inside of us, with mm -hmm. Jesus' righteousness, his blood covering us, the father is pleased. And I want you to feel that today, to accept mm -hmm. the acceptance of the father, not mm -hmm. based on your righteousness, your goodness, your works, your prayer, your obedience, mm -hmm. but based upon yes what Jesus 
has done. That's yes. the gospel. And Amen? when you and when you begin to feel like you God isn't pleased, just check your heart. Just get in tune with Him. Yes. Yeah. Worship. Yeah. Seek Him. Ask Him what what you know. There's a scripture that says, I'm not good with quoting the chapter and verse, but I know the word, <laughs> where it says, if there be any wicked way within me, yeah. you know, just check your heart. Yeah. And it's, sometimes it's not what God is doing, it's where your heart is. And sometimes when we aren't in tune with God, it's because we're not reading our word. It's because we're not praying. It's because we're not worshiping. You just get back into that. Get back into the word. Get back into worshiping. Get back into spending time with Jesus. And man, there's just such a pleasure. There's such a freedom when God is pleased and you just sense that acceptance of the Father. Amen. So we're gonna pray for you today to just walk into that. Um, wherever you find yourself today, um, I think as Susan said, uh, if you find yourself in a place where you, you're, you're, you're not sure, is this what God's will is, then take some time to really mm -hmm. seek him on that. Mm -hmm. Don't just sit on that and be like, well, I'll just keep going. Just really take time to dig in to the Lord, to ask the Lord for direction and for understanding and for guidance. Because I, I believe God wants to direct all of our steps according to his plan mm -hmm. and his perfect will in our yes. lives. So we're going to pray for you yes. today that you'll walk into that. And um, so. Now, yeah, as we pray, just know God is patient with us. Yes. You know, he created us. He formed us. And he's patient with us. And that's why we need a Jesus. Yeah. And there's nothing in us that's good, but he is good. Yes. And he knows us. He formed us before we were, you know, made officially. You know, he already knew what we were going to look like and be like. And I always think about that. So as we pray, just open your heart to him. Allow him to enter in. Holy Spirit, that you would begin yes. to penetrate those areas of our lives where we've been weak, where we've been hiding, Lord God, because of fear of no, the knowing, of knowing our insecurities, of knowing our frailties, of, of knowing, Lord God, where we fall short. But Lord, you take those things yes. and you work with those things. You begin to heal those areas. You begin to refine those areas. You begin to um, perfect them so that we can be used by you. You yes. equip us, God, your spirit, Father, equips us, your spirit covers us, the blood of Jesus wipes it away in your eyes, Lord God, and you are pleased with us because of what your son has done for us, yes. Lord, and that there's nothing we could do to make you love us more, mm. and there's nothing we could say or do that makes you love us less. Yes. It is by the blood of Jesus, Lord God, yes. that we are found to be righteous, yes. Lord God, and when we stand under that authority, when we stand under that understanding and knowledge, Lord God, that you are pleased with us because of the blood of Christ, there's so much we can do. Yes. There's so much um, work that needs to be done, and Lord, and we will be equipped and empowered to do the work that we would not, Lord God, shrink back, that we would not just sit around waiting, Lord God, but we would be praying, we would be seeking you, we would be walking in step with your spirit, and we thank you, Lord. And Father, I pray for everyone that's that's watching today. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, for the one that maybe just is not um, sure about the will of God for their mm -hmm. lives, maybe the one who is wondering um, if, if you love them, if you have a real plan and purpose for their life. Lord, today, I ask you to to really reveal yourself in a fresh way to every heart, to every life that is watching today. Lord, as these days drag on um, and we're just still trying to get going uh, in our city here in New York and really everywhere in America and around the world, I, I pray that, Lord, we would just take time to sense, Lord, um, and, to, and to communicate with you, as Susan said, to know that you do love us because of Jesus, to know that you are pleased with us because of Jesus. And that gives us motivation, Lord, to obey. We obey because we're loved. Mm. We do because we yes. are filled with the Spirit. And so, Lord, help us to get those things right, not, not reverse them, Lord God, to try to earn something from you. We, we can't earn anything. Yes. Lord, what you give Thank us you, is Jesus. by your grace. And so today, Lord, bless us with your strength, with your forgiveness, Lord, we turn away from ourselves, from selfishness, the world, the flesh, and the enemy. And today we turn towards the living 
God. As Susan said, search our hearts and know us and see if there be any wicked way within us and lead us in the way of everlasting life. Lead us in the way today that you would call us to, to walk with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Hey, we love you and thank you for jumping on. We'll be back tonight here at um, our place for our Wednesday online uh, prayer. Uh, bring your prayer requests. Going to be talking a little bit more about Gideon and some of the lessons that we learned from his life. We'll be starting a new series tomorrow on our morning Devo to kind of look at some some other truths that we can apply. And so we hope you'll be back as well tomorrow. And we do pray that you'll share this with someone. Mm -hmm. so. I love you guys. Have a great morning and enjoy the, we'll be here tonight, yep. seven o'clock.